<laughs> Alright guys, what's up? Uh, kind of a weird situation we got going on, but our old family friend and Gucci's old family friend, he got a call this morning and they said the snow's perfect and to come up and try to get a mountain line. So yeah, here I am. Gooch couldn't go because he got yeah. has school and all that. And here we are. We're getting ready to head to Wyoming. And uh, this is Hooper. Howdy. How are you? <laughs> yeah, he's a pretty cool guy. So we are going with Forbes Outfitters. And, yeah. And uh, they uh, harvested a lion this morning. And Sandy said the snow was perfect on the mountain. Penny, his wife, called and to see if we could just get right out there and as it turns out here we are and my sidekick here bryce is going to help me drive and it's going to be all nighter yeah so it should be pretty fun hopefully we get one stay tuned because we're going to be on a mountain lines trail here pretty soon hopefully all right guys just a little update uh we are currently in the middle of nebraska <laughs> so we're halfway there uh, we just stopped for some gas, but yeah, we've got probably nine more hours to go. We'll get there about six o'clock, so just in time to get the dogs loaded up and head out into the mountains. So it should be fun. Can't wait, and hopefully the excitement keeps me up a little bit because I'm driving now. All right, guys, we finally made it to Wyoming. 15-hour drive. It wasn't too bad, a little sore, but uh, we're gonna get out here and load the dogs up and the side by side and uh, meet the guide and everything and get to hunting. Hello, I'm Sandy Forbes from Casey, Wyoming. Uh, my wife and I own Forbes Outfitters. We hunt lions all winter long, all year long. It's our probably our biggest hunt. And uh, yeah, we're here just getting ready to go, getting everything packed up. And Hopefully today will be a good day. There's not much wind. It's kind of cold, but I think the lines moved. The yeah. Hopefully we'll see it at the tree. Awesome. I don't think I showed you this picture, but we'll, um, and black wildebeest. So when we're talking like when they come down from the mountains, like how high up do they usually stay before they come down? Like what elevation are they usually at? Oh, like the, and there's don't get me wrong, there's still lions up there. Yeah. But uh, I think that where my elk camp is is 7,000. Uh -huh. They come down from that. So pretty much just like 7,000 up is where they kind of yeah. chill out at? Yeah. And Hooper was saying that you hunted for the state a little yeah. bit? Yeah, yeah, through the summer I do. So how many like cases a summer do you have of mountain lions and bears attacking livestock? Oh, there's a lot. Like last year was bears it was weird like about every other day there's a there was a bear kill oh wow really? yeah so it's really affecting these farmers in the summer down oh, here oh yeah they're yeah. a problem i mean they'll kill a bunch in a night and then come back oh, a day geez. later and do it again yeah literally. well we're trying to figure out whether or not we got a line or not we let the dogs out to exercise and then all of a sudden they just veered off right and took onto a track He's trying to verify whether or not it's a lion or not, or if they're just screwing around. So hopefully it is a lion. But they've got so many dog tracks mixed in here, we can't tell if there's a lion track or not. But yeah, all we're doing is we're just riding around in the truck, sticking to valleys out here, and trying to get a cat that's come down from the mountains and crossing the valleys, and then set the dogs on his track going in between cattle and stuff and all sorts of things and yeah. we've only been out a couple hours and might have already found something so yeah i don't know if you guys can see or not but there's little dimples right there and that's what the dogs are hitting on and we're pretty sure it's a line so yeah we've been on one line that we know of so far but we got 40 mile an hour winds last night and they covered the tracks up made it hard for the dogs to really sniff stuff out and trying to chain up this truck and you're gonna see why here in a second throwing chains on now gotta go up there
Made it. Well, good morning, boys and girls. It's day two of mountain lion hunting. Getting ready to go. Uh, should be a pretty good day. There wasn't much wind last night to cover up those tracks, and two more trucks with dogs helping us out. So we'll have four trucks with dogs out there looking for a mountain lion. Yeah, it should be pretty good. We're gonna get one. Just gotta keep, gotta keep trying. Gotta make yourself available for events to happen. So. Got the little side by side. Gonna go where only the mountain men have gone today. That's the plan anyways. two side by sides with us and then got another one going up that way so covering a lot of ground today you want to go up cottonwood or you want to go up the other way i don't know we had pretty good luck with food forms here so they should be around here somewhere we just got to find them seen a lot of deer tracks even the deer themselves some mule deer but uh just a matter of time before we run into something seen anything nothing uh, but they, they come down in here and cross, but when they're laying down during the day, they get up in these rocks uh -huh. and lay right on the shelf. And if it's real cold, they'll be out in the open. If gotcha. not, they'd be in that gray stuff. Uh -huh. So you'll follow their tracks, and when they quit, you know there's a line in there. Uh -huh. But nice canyon. Huh? Yeah, it's pretty. That's it. And then if I can find a set of tracks and it goes in there, <laughs> <laughs> I get all excited. Yeah. My name's Gary. And he helps guide and whatnot and just does it for fun, right? Yep, Army Navy. Yeah? So that canyon right there? Yeah. That's where they went through. The Indians went up through there at the battle, if I recall right. They went up through there and went on up to Fort Hardin. I believe that's a story. I have to refresh myself. Yeah, well, that's what we're looking for. Can of Copenhagen, he said. Yep. Say that again. Hey, Lord. Nope. A lot of old activity that moved out from the storm, looks like. We're not quite on top yet. We're getting closer. Well, turn around. We have a lion going to uh, hip. Okay. I'll turn around. Got a line? I'll meet you at the pickup. 10-4, you gotta go back up the highway, go down and take a right, go back up that can, go to Hips. Alright. Well, we made it back to the trucks, still waiting on the guys that found the tracks. They were back a bit farther than we were. Had to come up off, down off of a mountain, we were up higher there, down low looking. They found mountain lion tracks and heading back a different way, so we're gonna circle it around on him, hopefully, and get on him. I don't know exactly what the plan is, but we'll have to wait and see what the day holds. All right, we met up with everybody and now we're just loading dogs up trying to get on this cat. We can take two rigs up there and hopefully have a cat treat and kill it. It should be right down there though and it goes left or it goes north and then it drops in the canyon there. I 
Alright, we've got the dogs down in this canyon. Trying to get down to them. Proving a bit challenging. Don't want to fall because it's a long ways down. But we think they might have it treed already. So we're going to go look. Alright guys, we finally got the thing treed. Trying to make our way down here. It's a long ways down into this canyon. Well, I we sat up there and watched the dogs run for probably an hour. Trying to figure them out. We got fledged is what those guys are calling it the gods are and that's where the line went up a, a shelf and dogs couldn't get up after it so the guys had to go down there and push them up it i sat up there and watched watched them chase this cat you can never see the cat there they're sneaky i never once saw the thing but sure enough they got a treat so we're gonna make our way down here and see if we can put a bullet in it but this is awesome Best, prettiest country I've ever seen. It's been sweet. All right, hoop. Yep. You still want to scratch up the rifle too bad? Yeah, I just don't want to fall and die. Oh, you'll never go anywhere. You just fall in the stage Yeah, if you fall in the brush, it'll hold up a little bit at least for a while. Yeah. Until you go in. Bad time to tell you I'm afraid of heights, probably. Um, I think they went this way. Well, I think, yeah, I think they went up there. Or you could go down this way. And then around. And down. Careful. Tree, there's really no branches on the bottom half. Uh -huh. in the branch. You can see just a little bit of tan color in that tree from that branch. Long way to go. We're down near to the bottom now. I can see the tree right there. Okay. Yeah, we're almost at the tree. Cat. All right, where do you want me to hit it? I can put it right in the chest, right here. Right just because right where her right paw is, I'd try to center punch underneath there because that's right where her heart is because she's at such an angle. Okay. She's like this. So yeah. She's at an angle, so yeah. Here and it'll come out that opposite shoulder. Yeah.
Right underneath her paw? Yep. Bang. Okay. Yep. Yes, sir. Good shot, Hoop. You okay? Yeah. Hey, big dog. Okay. Thank you very much. You betcha. Gary, thank you very much. You bet. Young man, thank you very much. No shrinkage. He's bigger than we said it was. It's okay. What do I know? I'm never, I've only seen one before in my life. Well, it's all wadded up there on a branch. It's a nice line. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on, boy. Good dog. Boy, yeah, you did good. You caught him. You caught him. Come on, boy. Female? Yep. Yeah. 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 That's awesome, guys. I, I appreciate you very much. Liver. And that's it. We're done. No lungs. Here, here's your no lungs or toes. Wet. Yeah. We got the lungs. That's top of the heart. Well, we got the line, and we're currently packing it out of here. Got a mile and a half hike to go. So, everybody's taking a turn on this thing we got this line rigged up on. So, hopefully it doesn't take too long to get out of here. We're all the way up there. Keep watching. Come on, dog. You all right? Woo! <laughs> Made her back, didn't we? We did. Yeah, barely. What exactly happened today? You were the one that found the cat, weren't you? Yeah, just got done tagging cows and, or calves and feeding and headed up the slope and found a track. Went ahead and waited and we got everybody rounded up and dropped the dogs on it. And caught her in the bottom of this canyon. Yeah, it took a while to get down, didn't it? Yeah, it's not a very nice canyon. Not a lot of people go in and out of this one. Yeah. It's deep. Yeah. Even found a deadhead, though, didn't we? Walking out. Yeah, no, I found a five by five whitetail. Yeah, so I guess it was a little worth it. Yeah, there's been, yeah, it's always worth it getting down in there. Yeah. Turned out good. We got the cat in the tree. It just took a little bit. It took yeah. a little bit to find it because it's so thick, I guess. Yeah. You should say. Yeah. There's tracks yeah. everywhere. And yeah, thanks for taking us and everything. Anytime. It's my pleasure. It's what I like to do is watch the old dogs work. Yeah, they sounded good today. I know. It's pretty. Nothing gets you going like when a hound dog barks up a tree at something or barks trailing them. And yeah. It just, it's a good feeling and it's cool to watch. Yeah, it was nice. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. I never dreamed that this was going to work out like it did after where we hunted yesterday. Uh, the huge canyon that we were in was a surprise and we took a female. It ends up being a, probably a better female than we thought was in the tree. I felt it was the right decision to to not walk away from the cat. So it's going to be a, an outstanding specimen. and. Uh, Glad that we took the cat, the cat 
and uh, I think it worked out for everybody involved. I mean, it was awesome. It was a beautiful day, and I appreciate everybody's work. And the dogs were awesome. Yeah, they did a really good job. But all right, guys, this kind of wraps up the trip. This was Bryce's first time really filming a long hunt like this, and he did a great job. I also want to thank Errol for letting us tag along. Like Bryce said, I've known Errol a long time. Bryce has known Errol a long time. That deer, actually, I killed with Errol in Wyoming. So we go way back with Errol, and we love hunting with him. And it's just really cool that he does a lot of this stuff for science. So, so he collects specimens, and then he ends up donating them to the museum and students and professors and whoever really wants to work on projects end up using those specimens for research. So it's really cool not only to go out and tag a mountain lion, but to also donate this and hopefully help someone else in the future. If you guys are interested in the measurements of the cat, the last like three minutes of this video is all Errol kind of showing you how he measures the cat and then what goes into um, documenting that for the museum. So check that out if you're interested in it. I was surprised how big they were. This was probably an average size female, maybe a little bit on the bigger side, but wasn't anything huge. And this is still a really big animal. So again, I just like to thank Bryce and Errol. This is an opportunity we probably won't get again and something that's just really awesome. If you guys did enjoy the video, it really helped me out. If you liked the video, subscribed or shared the video, it really helps me out and I really appreciate it. I love doing this and I'm so thankful that I got friends to help me. As always, have a good day and we'll see you on the next one. Oh, well, we're meeting up with the game warden and gonna get this line checked in. They gotta take two back molars from the line. Yeah, they might take some measurements, who knows, but just to see how old the line is, you gotta give them the coordinates of where you killed the line at so they know what area you killed it out of. and so they can manage the population and everything like that. So yeah, it's pretty different from tagging a deer. Big game object here, so they do a lot of extra steps. This is where it's gonna be hard. Get base of the tail. I know you've already explained this once before, but can you explain it again, what measurements you have to get? So we're going to get total, so total length, length of the tail, uh, notch of the ear, so the height of the ear, and then we're going to do the length of the hind foot, and then ideally after that we would have a weight mm -hmm. and the sex. Gotcha. So we're not going to have a weight, but we have a good estimate from... Uh, the people that work with cats quite often. Yep. So we're we're estimating this about a hundred pound female. We come right here, kind of to the base of the tail. Mm -hmm. We may have a little bit of air there, but we're gonna get a good idea. And see, you can feel the very end of the tail right mm -hmm. there. So, I'm going to call that about 73.7. So, have 737 millimeters. Here, the notch of the ear. And right here, with the notch of the ear. And so, we're looking at maybe about 7. 76 millimeters. We'll call that about 25.2. So total tail, notch of the ear, hind, and we ain't gonna have X for the weight. Mm -hmm. so we have that. And that's all you needed. You got your heart, and we have in the truck frozen. We have heart tissue. Uh, we have liver tissue. And we'll take a, a small chunk of muscle. Yep. And then they can get whatever DNA yeah. they want. And then you'll get all the data back from the conservation department, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Plus we have uh, we have the coordinates mm -hmm. that uh, Sandy gave us from the map. And uh, yeah, all okay. that'll go with it. All of that'll go with it, and they'll end up with the, probably either a copy or my original tag. Yeah. So be with the documentation. Yeah, the more information, the better, right? More information, the better. And 
we have to have all the, the legal documentation. 